All right, students, this is your last art assignment of your senior year. I want all of you to use your creativity to make art that tells a story. This will take up 30% of your final grade. Try your hardest. Mrs. Lawson, are there any particular themes or subjects we need to follow for this assignment? No, Emma. The cool thing about art is that it can be whatever you want. Just let your ideas flow. All right, everyone, there's the bell. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Hey, Emma, wait up. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Any ideas about what you're planning to create for the art project this weekend? Whatever is going to get me the best grade. For our last assignment in our senior year, I really want to make sure it's good. What about you? I'm kind of thinking of doing something about soccer for my project, you know? But it's like, I'm not totally sure yet. Guess I gotta find some cool ideas or something. Text me if you figure out what you're making. Anyway, I have to head home, Ryan. I'll see you on Monday. I really hope I didn't mess that up. I've had a crush on her for years. My dad works over at the post office across the street. I think I'll ask him for some ideas about my assignment this weekend. Dang. Where did I put the loose leaf paper? Hey, Dad. I've got this art assignment, and I'm not quite sure where to start. Can you help me brainstorm some ideas? Well, kiddo, I'm not the best with a paintbrush. But your mom, she used to spend lots of time painting with your grandma. Maybe she could spark some ideas for you. That sounds great, Dad. I'll chat with Mom about it as soon as I get home. Catch you later. Bye, Emma. Don't talk to any strangers. Hey, Mom. I'm home. I'm just in the kitchen, honey. Today was such a long day. So, sweetheart, how did things go at school today? Mom, we got this big art project from Mrs. Lawson. It's our final one for senior year, and it's a huge deal. It's like... 30% of our grade. I'm just not sure what I'm going to make yet. Why don't you head upstairs and take a look through your grandma's old art supplies? I bet there's something in there that could spark some creative ideas for your project. Good idea, Mom. I'll give it a shot. Gosh, these boxes have been gathering dust for, like, forever. I bet Grandma stashed all sorts of neat stuff in here. Whoa, what's in here? This bag is heavy. I think I'm going to be sick. What just happened? What is this massive paintbrush on my back? I should really try painting with this paintbrush. Ryan, I've made lunch for you downstairs. Coming, Mom. How was school? Did you talk to that girl you like? I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. What's her name again? Was it Emma? Stop, Mom. I have an assignment I have to go complete anyway. I'll talk to you later. You forgot your lunch, honey. Man, who is calling me? Oh, it's just Josh. Hey, what's up, man? I'm down at the pitch. All the boys are about to come play. You in? You know I can't, man. I've got that art assignment that's due on Monday, and I haven't even started. Come on, man. It's just for a couple hours. I got the same assignment as you. What if my mom finds out? I'll be grounded. Just sneak out the back door like you normally do. You've done it a million times. Fine. I'll be there in ten minutes. Ugh, I'm legit starving. Maybe I should try sketching out a milkshake or something. No way. My drawing just came to life. I wonder if anything I draw comes to life with this paintbrush. Maybe I should try and draw a new phone. I lost mine a few days ago. But if I can just draw it back, I wouldn't need to find it. It worked. I have the newest phone. Everyone at school is going to be so jealous. I've got to test what I can draw. Can I really just draw anything? Honey, I'm home. One second, I'm just in the kitchen. How was your day at work, sweetie? You look tired. Work was good. I had a couple of problems with a few customers, but it wasn't a bad day. Emma came to my office, though, told me she needed help with her assignment. She's upstairs in her room doing it now. I'm just making her some lunch in the kitchen so she doesn't get hungry. Did you want me to make you some as well? That's okay, honey. I've been meaning to mow the lawn for a while now. Since I finished work early today, I think I might do that. Why is my lawn mower not working? It's broken. I thought today was going to be a good day. Did I just hear Dad say the lawn mower was broken? I should try and draw him a new one. Perfect. It looks exactly like the old one. Hopefully it works the same. I heard you say the lawn mower was broken, Dad. So I got you a new one. Where did you get this, Emma? This lawn mower costs $300. I drew it with my magical paintbrush I found in Grandma's art supplies. Magical paintbrush? What do you mean? Anything I draw with this paintbrush comes to life. It's incredible, Dad. Whatever you say, Picasso. 
I appreciate the new lawnmower, Emma. That's okay, Dad. Hope you enjoy your new lawnmower. I can literally create anything. How is this even possible? Hmm, what should I paint today? Elizabeth, I've come here to curse your paintbrush. Whoa, what do you mean, curse my paintbrush? That paintbrush will be cursed for the next 1,000 years. Anything you paint will now come to life. Please don't do it. This is my favorite paintbrush. The moment I looked at your brush, I cursed it. There is no taking it back now. <laughs> hey, Mom, do you know anything about this paintbrush Grandma had in her art supplies? Your granddad used to tell me a lot about a paintbrush. Not sure if it was because he was crazy or not, but the stories he would tell me were unbelievable. Have you seen this paintbrush before? I've never seen that paintbrush before, sweetie. Guess I have to understand everything that's happening all on my own. Thanks anyway, Mom. Yo, you got any soccer boots I can quickly grab? Mine have a massive hole in them. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, we got some soccer boots. Have you started your assignment yet? No, I haven't started yet. I'm about to go to the pitch with the boys. You coming? Nah, bro, I gotta work, then do the assignment, man. Suit yourself, man. I'll see you on Monday anyway. Kyle was probably right. I should be doing my assignment right now. It's only gonna stress me out, and if I don't start it right away, I'm not gonna be able to put 100% into this art project. But Josh told me to come down to the soccer field and play, so I'm gonna do that instead. Yo, what's up, Josh? What took you so long? What do you mean? I had to go get some new boots before we play. I have a huge hole in mine. Well, everyone's left because you took so long. We couldn't fill in even teams. Seriously? I wasn't even that long. 20 minutes tops. Maybe next time, just get here on time. You messed it up for everyone. Someone's calling me, man. Forget about it. I think it's time to really test out this paintbrush. Whoa, this is incredible. I actually can't believe it. I'm rich. What is all the noise going on up here, Emma? Emma, what have you done? I drew it all with my paintbrush, Mom. Anything I draw comes to life. So that's the magical paintbrush my dad would talk about. I never knew that. With the power of being able to create anything you draw comes a lot of responsibility, Emma. You can't just draw money. I'm sorry, Mom. You have these powers now, Emma. I'm being serious when I say you have a responsibility now. You cannot use this power for evil, only for the good of everyone around you. I promise to only use this for good now, Mom. It was silly of me to even think to draw money. Hey, Ryan, have you started your assignment yet? Oh, hey, Emma. No, I haven't. I'm down at the field playing some soccer. I have something I really want to show you. Can we meet at the park? Yeah, of course. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Actually, everything's great. I'll see you at the park in five minutes. I have something I want to show you, but you have to promise me that you're not going to freak out. Of course, Emma, but what's with the giant paintbrush on your back? That's exactly what I wanted to show you. When I draw with this paintbrush, anything that I can draw turns into real life. No way, are you serious? Super serious, Ryan. Stand behind me and watch. I'll draw some balloons. Whoa, Emma, this is crazy. How did you even find that paintbrush? How is this even possible? Here, Ryan, you have a turn. Thanks, Emma. What should I try draw? I'm gonna draw a supercar. Ryan, you have to erase the car. You can't just draw things for your own personal gain. But Emma, this is incredible. We can draw anything we have ever wanted. Haven't you ever wanted to be rich? Yeah, I have, Ryan. With my magic paintbrush, everything I draw turns real. But it's like a superhero power. It's fun, but I must be careful. If I draw an ice cream mountain, it could create a huge, sticky mess. So I have to think before I draw. But Emma, I just have to give it a shot. Imagine we could finally have all the money we've ever dreamed of. Think of all the cars we could buy. I gotta go show all my friends, Emma. This is incredible. I'll be back with the paintbrush shortly. Mom, Ryan stole my magical paintbrush. Not now, sweetie. I'm watching the news. But Mom, this is serious. He could be using it for bad things. Two seconds, Emma. The news is almost over. This is your daily reminder to leave a like on this video and make sure to subscribe. That's exactly right, Gary. We're coming out with three new videos every single week. All our shows are all connected in the same universe, so expect to see plenty of crossovers. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Hopefully Emma can get her paintbrush back. Right, Gary? Absolutely right, Sarah. Back to the show. I'm serious, Mom. I don't know what to do. He stole my paintbrush.
Honey, you need to get the paintbrush back. Him having that brush could affect everyone in town. Do you know where he could be? I got it. He was wearing his soccer uniform, so he must be down at the soccer pitch. Go get that paintbrush back, honey. Everyone is counting on you. You gotta check out what this paintbrush can do, man. It can literally turn anything you draw into a real-life object. What are you talking about, man? That just sounds stupid. Are you okay? Yeah, what? I'm serious, dude. Just tell me something to draw, and I'll draw it, and it will literally just appear in front of us. Okay, then. Draw a field full of T-Rexes. Whatever you say, man. I'll give it a shot. Ryan, stop. You have to hand me that paintbrush back before you get anyone hurt. Remember what I said about being responsible. But we were just about to draw a field full of T-Rexes. Ryan, that is so dumb. Why would you do that? Because I thought it would be cool. Hand me the paintbrush right now, Ryan. Should I leave or something? Give you guys some space? You know what? You're absolutely right, Emma. Here, take the paintbrush. Thanks, Ryan. I'm glad you understand why you can't just draw dinosaurs everywhere. You could have hurt everyone in the town. I'm going to go hide this paintbrush so nobody can touch it ever again. See you on Monday, Ryan. Also, don't forget to do your assignment. Bro, you are so bad at talking to girls. Shut up, man. Leave me alone. I'm going to go hide this paintbrush back where I found it. Nobody is ever going to touch it ever again. If this got into the wrong hands, the whole town could be in trouble. Now it's time to actually start my assignment. I should write all my thoughts down in a notepad. Finally done. I'm a little nervous to do my presentation to the class, but I think I'm ready. And next up, we have Emma with her presentation of her art piece about a paintbrush. Hey, everyone. Imagine if we had a magic paintbrush that could bring our drawings to life. Sounds cool, but like all powers, it needs to be used wisely. Imagine drawing a Sunday and having it appear. But what happens if you draw a dinosaur? Might be a bit overwhelming, right? And what if you doodled a scary monster or a jungle while you were asleep? You'd wake up to some unexpected surprises. Even simple things, like drawing a bird, could become a big responsibility. You'd suddenly have to care for this new pet. A magic paintbrush isn't just about the fun, it's also about responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. Our actions, even when we're just having fun, can have big consequences. So whether we have a magic paintbrush or not, let's use our creativity and imagination to make the world a better and more colorful place. But always remember to do it responsibly.